In this video, we'll be creating the X-Wing from Star Wars. In case you don't know how it looks like, it looks like this. So, let's do this. So, the first step is to get a box. So, this red thing here. Once you do that, you place it in the middle and you just move it to the side. Now, all you need to do is make this. That's nice. Increase this by 80. And the width as 12 millimeters. Now, we've got this top part. Now, let's take this, a hole, and we just place it here. We need to just pull it up to the top and we take it like by seven, 7 degrees. Now all we need to do is extend. As you can see it's taking too long so we can just bring it a little higher. And we can also increase this. So we want it to be pretty long so we can just extend this a bit more right about here and yeah now we can just group these two now we can just bring this up by three so all thing over here now we just make this white we take another box this time it's gonna be red and when we place it we put the same measurement so three down not give this as 12 we increase this by 80 and yeah so we've got the structure now the last part is to add a polygon this thing over here so in this you want to make sure that we get this flat part on the top so all we've got to do is make sure we turn this one and not this one so when we turn this to 90 degrees we got this flat part on the top so all we've got to do is make this 38 make the height as 17 and make this 22 yeah and now all we need to do is turn it 90 degrees and place it around here So, as you can see, it's not in place, so we can just do this, press align, all of these shapes, and just put it here. Now they're all aligned. Yeah. So, once you do that, you can see there's a little gap on the floor. So, all we just need to do is put this down. So, if you can see it's one, just make it zero. Yeah. And there you have it. So. Now it's time for the window. So, place this here. We turn it 90 degrees, or 180 degrees. Now, we lower this to 9. And make this 12. And you make it black. So then, you just put it here. And we make it higher. So then we want to make it as close as possible to this polygon so you put it here and we know it's not going to be in the middle so you can see that and what we have to do is align and make it there so this is going into the polygon so just put it here yeah and you can increase and decrease the height however you want so if you want it to be here it's all fine so you can just put this in it more backwards this all as well yeah so then now it's on to the next part now we need to do is make this white and we need to go on to the thrusters so this is really easy all you need to do is add a cylinder do this make it smaller like make it 90 degrees and make this 64 make this till 7 by 7 so once you have that you 
can just this needs to be like uh, 25 so if you make it 25 it's gonna be there and then all you need to do is duplicate so this button over here so duplicate here so press that and you just bring it forwards then you want this to be a bit smaller so this will be five 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 yeah and then you need to do the same thing press this duplicate go forward and we make this three by three three by three yeah so now all we do is get this we align we put it in the middle here and then we put it in the middle here yeah so then we have this now all we do is make this the right color so this will be uh black this will be white and this will be like a gray so we can just choose this one yeah and once you have that we need to put in the correct height uh i mean length so we just put this down at around 37 look like that so then all we do is to make this easier we can just move like select all of this and just move it then we can unmove it and get all the colors later so as you can see it's all white right now but you'll, you'll get changed later so now we just bring this up here and we just bring it forward yeah and then we just just move it more to the side like that and then we can just duplicate to this same place so around here and then now we need to put it in the bottom so we'll do that later but first we can just ungroup and get all the colors back now let's go on to the wings the wings are pretty easy so let's just place this down so make this two and make it the size of 20 uh, like a bit bigger so maybe like 23 now we increase the height by 57 57 and we just add a, a hole box now we just place it here make the uh, angle to uh, y right about there and all we do is just increase this and we just we can just change the angle a bit more like about there increase the height and the width yeah and then all we do is just move this and we got a wing now let's just turn it around like this Minus 90 degrees, and then all we do is pick this up and place it right under this, this cluster. So we just press this and pull it down. There, yes. Now, all we do is just pick it up and we just uh, put it in the correct place. So, just place it right under, like that. Now, that's a part of the X-Wing. Let's just make the angle a bit less. So maybe just, just do two more degrees. Yep. And now we want to put it in all four sides. So let's just duplicate and then we press this. So mirror. So it mirrors the direction. So if we press this, we go on the other side. So we press this. We bring this to here. So we don't want to mess up the angles or anything. So we just press the button really slowly and we go there. So we keep going until we get the same look. So right about here. Now we need to do the bottom wings. So that's also pretty easy. So we duplicate, we put this, and press this button. So we do that. And all we do is bring it down. So right about at the corner, 
So this thing over here. We do that and we place it right about here. Yes. So now we want to get the other side. Easy peasy. So we do the same thing. Duplicate. Mirror. Press this. We want to make sure that it looks symmetrical, so we just do is go down and to the back. And we just make sure it's correct. So we put it right about here. Yes. Yeah. So now we've got so there are enough X points. Now we just do is make this all white. So all the ones are white. Right. Last one. Right. Yeah, so we've got some you know, X points. Now we can do these or uh, more thrusters. So they're gonna be the like not in the exact same place, but then it's gonna look in the bottom. I don't know why that red wing is glitching, it's not supposed to be red, but okay. We take this, these two shapes. Okay, and same thing, we just move it down and we can just move it here. So yeah, we've got this part done. Now to the other part. So we select these three. Uh, oh, that's the wrong three. Let's just do it right here. So we've got these three shapes, we just duplicate and move it down. So we want it to be at the same place, so then we just move it up here. And we just look up here, that doesn't look at the same place. So we just, I think it's just height, bring it up, move it a bit in, and yeah, we've got this. So now we've got all the thrusters, and now we just need to, for the decoration, why is that glitching? So, now that all we have to do is just bring this cylinder, place it down here, make it 60 sides, and we put this as 7 by 7. Now we just put it down, make it a very small height, and we play, make, put it this color over here. So once we do that, we just check the correct height up here and we just place it there. Yeah, so we want it to be a bit more inside, so just do that. And all, all we have to do is we need to select this one, two, three, four, and five. So without the wings. So what we can do is just up right about here, so two, three, four, five. Okay, and we can just press a line. Up, up a line. Just press this button. Yeah, there we have it. Now, if you see there, the wings are under, so we don't want that. So let's just select all of this and pull it up. So once we pull that up, all we need to do is add the laser guns. I think that that's what it is. So it's really simple. We just go out of select and all we do is get these three shapes again. So let's just do that. It's two, it's three. So are we selecting the three shapes that we want? Yes. So all we do is we don't need to do duplicate so command C. Uh, command C and Command V. So copy and paste. And we turn this 180 degrees. 180. Yeah. So we want to make this a different size. So this will be 3 by 3. So everything will be smaller. And this height will be about 
about 51. Then we just pick it up until the right height and we just place it until what we think is correct. So on top of the wing, which is not what it is right now. So then we just put it all the way to the side. About here, yeah. We've got this part. Now we just need to do the same for all four. So duplicate, bring it all the way to the other side. So it needs to be the same, so let's just look for the front. Uh, quite about, but this is a little bit off, so let's just do this. Uh, oh wait, please, let me do things. Let me just put it up here. Yeah. Now, all we need to do is duplicate this and pull it down here. We also want it to be on the top, so we just put it there. Again, so let's just do that. Try and duplicate again. Yeah, and move it to the other side. All the way here. Yeah. So now we have one last step to do to finish this wing is to add a point at the top so this is really simple no need of any um, complicated things all we need to do is just bring in a roof from here and we want to make it over there so let's turn it nine minus 90 degrees make this 90 degrees we have to make it the same height as these so uh, we can't put that right now because if we select these two, they won't give us the real height. They only get this top part. So, let's just place this here. Bring it a bit higher. So, at the really corner. And then, we have to just put it, put it at the bottom. And then, just make sure that we're putting the right places. So the right up there, and we put this short term. So this needs to be twelve. And it's not touching yet, so let's just bring it zoom out and just just the correct place. Bring it up. a bit down so we just go back here and just a bit higher let's check yes this is a bit off so we can just drop that very simple and the uh, same as usual we need to align it so as you can see we, it's not in right measurement but when we when we align it will be really easy okay so we need to get these six shapes so we just up we get six that's perfect and we press align we go forward and we align yeah so last step very final make this gray and we have officially finished the X-Wing from Star Wars. Thank you for watching.